and addiction. It is an epidemic on top of the pandemic that we are already fighting. And a story you'll see only right here on Fox 61. I had the chance to speak with folks from the community renewal team in Hartford. If they were, they were able to save a man's life in the middle of their lobby. That man still alive today because of their quick thinking. It was a normal afternoon when a 56 year old man walked through the community renewal team's office in Hartford last Tuesday. That man coming for a case management appointment, but later receiving life saving assistance. I came to the front. Um, I saw that uh, he was kind of like stuck in place overdosing. Kayla Sanchez was just one of the many people who worked quickly to save this man's life. Alongside her was Rashawn Warmington, who was able to catch the man as he fell to the ground. The team then quickly made the decision to administer Narcan, a drug that reverses the effects of opioids. But CRT's medical director says in order to save someone, you must first realize that not all overdoses look the same. Typically, somebody who has um, uh, taken too much of an opioid, heroin, morphine, fentanyl, um, will have uh, very pinpoint pupils. The pupils will be constricted. Uh, they may have cold, clammy skin. They, their muscles will be weak. They will seek to nod off and then wake up and nod off and wake up. Um, if there is a lot of an opioid on board, uh, the opioid will uh, decrease their breathing it's, uh, and they will eventually stop breathing. They will pass. They will then pass out um, and they will fall to the ground. Um, they may, their lips may turn blue, fingernails may turn blue or in darker skinned individuals, they, they'll turn more ashen or gray. Um, and, the, and if there is, there may be some breathing, but it may sound more like snoring or it may sound like gasps. The man ended up receiving six shots of Narcan, which Dr. Isbani says is a very large amount. Meanwhile, Casey DeRozier, who deals with clients in CRT's medication assisted treatment program, says you only get so many chances. The more overdoses an individual has, the greater the chance that their body cannot recover from it. Casey was later able to track down that man, get consent to talk with him, and also get him started on Suboxone, a drug that helps addicts hopefully beat the disease. Suboxone has a blocker in the medication to where if you did relapse when you went home, you have a greater potential of not overdosing and dying, and that is a great safety measure until you get to a outside provider and begin your outside treatment. And this medicine? is accessible. Uh, doctors, uh, physicians, APRNs, they are eligible or have been eligible and passed the waiver to be able to prescribe Suboxone in emergency rooms to help an individual begin their recovery right there in the emergency room and not have to wait to get an appointment for an outside provider or inpatient setting. Unfortunately, the man did not show up for his appointment with CRT the next day, but Casey says this story doesn't end here. We do not give up, especially with uh, the beast of addiction. Um, we will be planning uh, to try to re-engage him in other avenues. It takes a team. It takes a team and everybody, you know, everybody performed well, everybody moved quickly. Um, it was an experience. If you'd like to find out how to get Narcan, know that it is available. This is an epidemic um, and uh, Narcan saves lives and, and it did that day in our clinic. CRT says you're able to get Narcan with a prescription from your doctor or you can stop by their office and they'll be happy to provide the public with some. Always uh, go based off your gut instinct and the air side of caution. I'm Margo Farrell, Fox 61 News. Pretty incredible there. Uh, talk about a right time, right place. I spoke with a few people here at a community renewal team, and they are some of the best. And you heard there, it is it is possible for you to get Narcan. Many of those folks, uh, one of the women, Casey, that I spoke with, she says she carries some in her car, she carries some in her purse, uh, just something to have on hand because this really is a problem that's in addition to all of the problems we've had this year. A reminder of all the brave people who are still working on the front lines that look so different depending on your profession. So hats off to all of them. Thank you for that, Margot.